Hello and welcome. This is Rafa 71 slash YouTube 17 and let's continue to play Wolf Among Us episode 5 and we're gonna fight Bloody Mary over here. Oh, I failed. I failed that. Sorry. Oh, punch a lady right there. This is episode 5, the final battle with Bloody Mary, I believe. Where is she? What if she isn't even in a white dress with a knife holding, you know? Make it more accurate. What is she doing now? Did she transform? It's like she transformed into something. Oh, why would I go here? You're seriously risking your life, Big B. Why am I here? Come on, do your parkour skit or something. You can whoa, Big B. Seriously, you can walk straight. Don't you? Don't do that. You can hold. Oh. I dodged that. I got hurt. She transformed into something. Moving. Whoa. Moving. Moving. Oh. Hey, I tried to dodge that. Hey. Ow. Ow. Where are you? Come out and face me. How would she look like? Now that's... Is how she would look like? Is she full of glass? Oh, because of the mirror. Oh! Wow. Wow. Why? I don't want to make the first move or something, but seriously. I'm dodging. Oh, quick time events. Will I still die? Throw her into the pot of lava. To the pot of lava. To the pot of lava. Ooh, right in there. Oh, where did I go? I failed throwing her into the lava. Come on, get up. Don't let her. Oh no. Is there a mirror here somewhere? How's she doing all this? Should smash a mirror or something. What should I choose who to hit? Oh slow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Right in the. Ugh. Hey, stop being so slow, baby. Think fast. Think fast. They're everywhere. Find a safe place. Find a corner or something. You can jump higher than them or something. Whoa. 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 She's on. She's on. Uh, that would hurt every time I grab them because they have glasses everywhere in them. It's like they're going to eat me or something. Oh. Ah! 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 What? Can I'm now a I'm now a really a big wolf. Whoa! I'm now really a wolf now. I look like a wolf, a real wolf. Oh, it crush it! Oh, never mind. It just be this is a mirror glass. Uh. Is this me? Is this me? 
not quite what I expected. You look like a wolf. Five minutes and it's still getting epic. What am I doing? Transforming more? Yo, oh, she looks surprised. Oh yeah, forgot. <laughs> that power. Woo! Blow their house down. Woo -ho -ho -ho. Wait, is that all of them? There's still more. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Darn you in your... I can do that, I'm a, I'm a wolf. What do you want? What, is she trying to transform too? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, I thought she stabbed my eye or something. That's not her. Is that her? That's how she dies, seriously. Is that it? For her? Hey, how did I get over in the transforming back? I thought I have to drink whiskey or something. How did I calm down? Maybe it was the goodness of, you know, feeling good that I care this wick, wick, this wick, you know, because I feel good. Oh, hello there. How does the crooked man will look like in this real transformation? You should hurry. Something. Oh, I thought he ran away. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. And you're not surprised. Whoa. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed. I won't miss next time. Why did you waste one then? <laughs> Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. Why is she here? At least for the time being. Oh you no. You will bring me back alive. No, I all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. You're giving yourself Can input that gun down. That? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I can take that away. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. I know, and but... I think you know that. Yeah, All I know. I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out, but I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. Well, really? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And that. Uh, and I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Put because that I'm gun not down. saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Really? And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Oh, I thought that's just shoes. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What? What do you really care about here? Where this what? case is concerned, do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So <laughs> what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. Yeah. He's dead, isn't he? Of course. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, 
Shall we get going? Okay, okay. I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Don't attack. Don't attack. Don't attack. Fine. Good. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Hit him first. Hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to hit you. Thank you. You're Thank under you. arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. Stop being such a s <clears throat> smart ag. And your punishment will follow. I think Bloody Mary is still alive, you know, she's just a piece of glass. I wanna see some blood on that Bloody Mary. More loading, yeah. We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Is every yes, everybody's you'll have an opportunity to He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Everybody's here. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. Yeah, we can I talk got about it later. You Bloody did Mary. Well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that what you know. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Well, I look well. It's about no. time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Already? Yes. What are you, what you waiting for, murderer? My you killed Lily. She was my sister. Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to me? You you're a fucking sir, crook. Yes. Let him you talk or something. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the- Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Don't worry about it. It's done. Justice has already been dispatched. Bigby executed him. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. That There's doesn't no change anything. This. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Indirectly, you like hell you didn't. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. 
These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where realm. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No That's more right. snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Why did you release these cuffs? Why? Why? You, you can make him floor. talk. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Yeah. George That's what we wanted. Yes, but he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. How? Oh, yes, give them jobs. Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. Oh, is she the here? I didn't turn, see her. She came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. Yeah, what? glad I didn't destroy you the tree. You burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too oh, soft to oh. notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. Oh, so no. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. They're turning this on us. And that oh, no. may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. 
Luckily, I didn't so burn the tree. And I'm sorry for your arm, Grendel. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. What? You're right. Oh. You're all still afraid of him. Even oh no, now. it's like... We're convincing them all. Hopefully they are. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Nice. Hey. We got all of them. We still convinced them back. Very good. And a Very slow good. clap cliche. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the Georgie was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister. But I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh. Oh, oh right, dear. Crane was in charge. Boom. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Okay, what, what else That's would enough. you? So, what else is the you excuse? You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. George well, killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want dead. to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level of privilege should be afforded to help. This is how it's always been. This is I what I should... talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without oh, me, no, not me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Oh, where's who Mr. Will Toad? dare challenge their brutality <laughs> when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Strand is on me. Dang it, why are you too smart to be? Bigby? Miss White? How are you not dead? I, I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't I thought you're free. A moment to catch your breath What's well. she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! Yeah, you boom. enslaved us for years. 
Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But now you know what? You're not now free. it's my turn to talk. How are you? Thanks to Vivian. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Chicky. Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa! I oh. <laughs> my name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the oh. goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. Yeah, no, he was not that type of guy. Of at least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me. Me too. So what? that's it, right? Calm you down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Oh, now, for give your up sentence. Now. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. Well, we would he? We prison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you, enough. Maybe there will be more point. if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So, so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Wait, how about Clearly, you? Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He they was want appointed. Me He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Uh, that makes no. sense to me. I guess Again. it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? No. This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Well, yes, Sheriff. <laughs> Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Not this way. Oh, what? Oh, I was trying to decide. Oh, well. Oh. I, I was about to throw him down the wishing well, anyway. So, let's do it together, mate. There. I'm stronger than you. Mm. There you are. I hope you all. Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. What he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Loading. Well. Uh, shoot. Uh, 
Sorry guys, I think I have to continue the next part. Sorry guys, I have to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Because I need it. This is Rafa everyone. Peace, man.